I mean, they, what, because what we come up with, when we come up with ideas, are not usually plots, they're premises. And so we usually come up with the stuff that is contained in the introduction to a book, the first quarter or the first third of a book. And then there's a gear shift where the plot kicks in and the characters are no longer, and the characters in conflict are no longer being introduced, and we hit a wall. And it's, you know, I hit that wall too. It's a normal wall, but it's true that plotting past it is probably the best, you know, the best way for you to, when you sit down and get ready to write, figure out what happens next, is to actually sit down and write out your whole story. And sometimes, if you have a friend, um, they're very useful for this because they will um, ask you questions that you don't want to answer. Like, but if they, but if they're going to, you know, get from the palace to the forest, how might they get there? And you're like, I don't know. And, you know, they're going to push you to actually answer things. And they're going to also hopefully give you ideas. Um, and uh, I know sometimes when people think about talking out their story with another person, that they worry that that means the, per the other person is sort of, is dictating their story to them or is creating the story and that they do not have the purity of creation. And I will tell you, do not worry because it will go like this. They'll be like, so maybe this happens. And you're like, no. You're like, how about this? And you're like, not so not that. <laughs> and they're like, what about this? And you're like, still no. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> because your story is up here. It's, you know, the sort of er story. You know what it is. It's just a matter of sort of figuring out how to unlock your knowledge. You know what it's supposed to feel like. You know, and so sometimes it's talking to introvert with someone will help. Um, I'm looking forward to your insights that you have previously not shared with me. I mean, I don't think I have a special insight this, um, this one this time around. Um, I think, I mean, for me, it really helps to, um, I think Holly's right, you don't necessarily have a plot, usually you have a premise, you're like, wouldn't it be awesome if there was a girl and she found out that she had a twin, but her twin was an assassin? And that's a premise, but not a plot. So you have to sit down and be like, okay, we start here, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. And the actually, this happens, then this happens, then this happens is, is much more important than you think. So if you can write down those things, it often helps a lot because usually people stop writing because they don't know what happens next. I mean, that is the, the simplest, most basic reason that people stop writing their book and it's the most common. So if you know what happens next, you'll, you'll be way out ahead.